The families of the Free State train crash victims failed to identify the bodies of the deceased. Authorities will now be relying on DNA samples submitted by the kin to establish the identities of their loved ones. Medical experts had managed to restore 15 bodies for identification. The deadly crash left 19 dead people and hundreds injured. The bodies have been disfigured beyond recognition. Every family member that came here, we, did, we took DNA samples. So we do have their DNA samples. So now the process is for these samples to, to be taken to Pretoria and then for, for the pathologist to, to continue with, this, with the sampling of the bodies and match that to the family members. The doctors had prepared 15 bodies today for viewing. There, there are those that were are just remains uh, and uh, beyond recognition, charred bodies, burnt, and you can't even figure out the, the full human being. Then there are those that were also bent, but you could still feel, see what this is a, this is a person, and um, and there is a, this is a face and all of that. But the families just could not identify them. The DNA, more or less, it will be a week after next week. By Wednesday, probably will get first outcome, and then probably by Friday will get probably the last, the, the the last one because we started a little bit late. It's already on Thursday, uh, Tuesday today. Tomorrow is Wednesday, we are still going on with the samples. So by Friday, they'll be going back to Pretoria to go and uh, hand over the samples. But the laboratory is ready for us at giving us a first priority so that at least the DNA should be performed. As soon as that has happened, uh, the following week, they will give us the first results of the DNA. But we are sure that in a week's time, we will be able to close this chapter in the manner in which all of us put a concerted effort to put this thing to rest.